Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very very interesting question from algebraic expressions. We have to simplify or evaluate the expression m times 1 minus p if m is square root 13 plus square root 11 whole power 6 where p is decimal part of m. If you want to attempt by your own, you can pause this video and then check the solution. So I will begin this video by writing our m. So nature of m, m would be m i plus m d. What is m i? The integer part of m. And what is m d? The decimal part of m. So we can conclude from here, our p must be equal to, which is decimal part of m. So that is m d. So I can write from here, p is equal to m minus the integer part of m. Okay. Now let us give our substitution. I will begin with substitution. So in bracket, whatever is written, I will consider this is a. Let me write separately. a is equal to square root 13 plus square root 11. Okay. I will presume from my side one other number that is b. So I will consider root 13 minus root 11. That is b. Purposely. Now add both the numbers a and b. So I will write a plus b it must be equal to 2 square root 13 plus root 11 and minus root 11 will be over. Now I will take the product a times b. Let us see. It will come out root 13 plus root 11 in bracket and in second bracket root 13 minus root 11. So difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. So I can write root 13 square minus root 11 square. So square and square root will be over. So we will get 2. So conclusion is AB is equal to 2. What I am doing actually? I am trying to figure it out. The results, the statements. Let me demonstrate then you will understand what I am doing. AB is equal to 2. Now I will consider this A plus B, this equation 2 root 13. Let me consider whole square. So A plus B whole square that would be equal to 2 root 13 whole square. So from here I can conclude the algebraic formula. See a square plus b square plus 2ab. So ab is 2. So I will write 2 times. Let me write directly 2. Equal to 4 times 13. So 52. So from here I can write a square plus b square is equal to 48. Done. Now let us calculate one value that is a power 6 plus b power 6. See, I am targeting only the nature of a power 6 plus b power 6 and then the nature of b power 6 individually. We can conclude from there few specific results. So let me find out a power 6 plus b power 6. I will write a power 6 plus b power 6. What is a? A we can write a square means a power 6 we can write a square whole cube and b power 6 we can write it is b square whole cube. Let me apply directly the identity a cube plus b cube. So a plus b. So in place of a it is a square. So I will write a square plus b square. Then a power 4 plus b power 4 minus a square b square. Now you can see a square plus b square. This is what we have already calculated. We calculated this value as 48. So let me write here a square plus b square is equal to 48. Now for this a power 4 plus b power 4 again I can write using identity it is a square plus b square whole square minus 2 a square b square minus a square b square. So let me write directly minus 3 a square b square. This is our this bracket. Now what is conclusion? What I am doing? So conclusion is this is 48. This is again 48. 48 is square we will write over there. AB is 2. So we can write. Now conclusion is see everything if you will put over there and simply check then this value will be integer only. Conclusion is a power 6 plus b power 6 is integer only. Once you will put, you will collect some number. That number is integer. 
So conclusion is a power 6 plus b power 6 is integer. Now I will write our b. b was our substitution. It was root 13 minus root 11. Now come to this part also. So I can write this root 13 as it will lie in between root 9 and root 16. So let me write here root 13 we can write it is root 9. So let me write here 3. Let me write here 4. Root 16 is 4. Similarly I can write root 11 that would be root 3 and root 16. Again it will lie in between 3 and 4. Now what I want to calculate I have to calculate root 13 minus root 11. So let me multiply this inequality with minus sign. So inequality will get reversed. So I will write here minus 3 and similarly I will write this side minus 4. So now I have to add these two. These two inequality once I will add I will collect our value root 13 minus root 11. So how it will you will add actually see inequalities are in the opposite in nature. So you can write over there root 13 lies 3 and 4. Similarly I will write minus root 11 lies so it will be minus 4 here and minus 3 I will write here. See the direction of inequality it would be same once you are writing in the opposite the otherwise way. So if I will add now both two so now equality is inequality sign is same. So 4 minus 3 1 3 minus 4 minus 1 and you can see this is always positive because root 13 is bigger than root 11. So this number means conclusion what I can write from here that is root 13 minus root 11 it should be one fractional value 0 here and 1 here. So conclusion is b is fractional value b lies between 1 and 0. So once I will take power 6 to this inequality so I can write b power 6 must be less than 1 and lies between it would be fractional in nature. Conclusion a power 6 plus b power 6 is integer individual b power 6 is fractional value okay individual b power 6 is fractional value now using these statements we will conclude our result so i will write m is equal to a power 6 this was our very first equation second we concluded that a power 6 plus b power 6 it is always integer and third we can means what we calculated b power 6 is always fractional value or decimal value done now I will write our m how it would be so p was m minus mi the integer part if you will take away from m you will get your decimal part p as per given expression now I will find out what is the value of mi see I am showing you through one example m equal to a power 6 if suppose it is for example if this is 1.6 and b power 6 individual it is fractional value because why it is 0.4 because once you will add both a power 6 plus b power 6 then it should be one integer so obviously if it is a power 6 plus b power 6 should be one integer then what we can conclude from here that the decimal part would be m minus mi and where mi is equal to mi you can see it is equal to a power 6 plus b power 6 minus 1. Once you will add 1.6 plus 0.4 you will get 2.0 minus 1 then we will have our integer value. Always remember because 0.6 plus 0.4 equal to 1 that 1 we are going to take away from here. Done. Now I will write our decimal value equal to m m that is a power 6 minus m i that is a power 6 plus b power 6 minus 1. So I can write a power 6 minus a power 6 minus b power 6 plus 1. So this term will be cancelled out. I can write b power 6 is equal to what I will write 1 minus p. 
okay now see it is task is done i guess m times 1 minus p let me put the value m times 1 minus p 1 minus p we just calculated it was b power 6 okay m was a power 6 so it is nothing but the value of a power 6 times b power 6 which is a b whole power 6 and a b we calculated in the very first slide it was 2 so our answer will become 2 power 6 that is equal to 64 i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care